you will not believe what you will see here right now. Hello everyone and welcome back. So the Champions Chess Tour Crunch Labs Masters 2024 started yesterday, you know, with the best players in the world. Former world champion Magnus Carlsen, Yanni Pomnici, Dura, Wesley So, MVL, Ariesa Firuja, and Drakin and Fabiano Caruana are playing together rapid games you know the time control is 10 minutes per you know per game plus two seconds increment per each move and yesterday the first match began with Fabiano Caruana against Ali Reja Firuja and you know this match produced one of the craziest games ever that I saw in my life so come on let's learn how to beat a player in top 10 in the world in only nine moves so in this game particular game you can see Fabiano Caruana with white pieces against Firuja so how the game started c4 c6 knight f3 d5 so this position can go to Slav maybe or maybe Catalan I don't know maybe e3 d4 g3 I don't know let's see so Fabiano is playing the move g3 bishop g4 and now white play the move knight to e5 with the threat of this bishop on g4 so he's playing the move bishop to f5 and now queen b3 develops a queen and also a th threatening the b7 pawn he's playing the move queen to b6 for example queen c7 it's you know seems quite fine move for black but i think c takes d5 can be possible because after queen takes e5 just queen takes b7 and it seems like this rook is just lost so white will win it uh, for sure and yeah so queen c7 also option for black but he played the move queen to b6 and now fabiano is playing the move c takes d5 queen takes b3 a takes b3 of course and now after c takes d5 white has the opportunity to play knight c3 with the threat of the d5 square after e6 knight b5 and this position it's already losing because the c7 square is very you know uh, very attractive for white and after king d8 just knight f7 and the rook is under attack and yeah just white is winning so after knight a6 for example rook takes a6 we're sacrificing our rook b takes a6 and knight c7 we're taking the knight the rook and just winning the game so this position is already very bad for black but in this after knight c3 there is an option to play f6 but also in this one knight takes d5 f takes e5 knight c7 king f7 and just taking the rook with exchange up with one pawn and yeah it's just game over for black so yeah in this position alireza firuja is playing the move bishop to e4 and now just brilliant move by fabiano caruana He's playing the move D takes C6. Brilliant one. What a sacrificing of a rook. And now after knight takes C6, I think the point is just F3. Knight takes E5, F takes E4. And now white has two bishops, right? Very strong bishops with bishop G2, knight C3, D4, bishop F4. And one pawn up. And it should be game over, you know. Just a technical issues here. So in this position, after, um, after D takes C6 yeah he's playing the move bishop takes h1 and this is a blunder unbelievable position you can stop the video now and think by yourself how white can win this position and fabiano caruana is do it you know with so beautiful one rook takes h a7 a brilliant move the nine move in this game and firuja understand that this position is just game over for him after rook takes a7 just c7 with two threats c takes b8 with promotion of a queen and also c8 queen and this game is just over so unbelievable this knight takes e6 is also losing for black rook takes a8 knight d8 and just e4 with bishop b5 and ladies and gentlemen white will win it very very fast so this game just finished after nine moves against one of the best players in the world ali reja firuja with rating of 2873 here wow who no you must learn how to win in nine moves from fabiano caruana 
So if you like this video, just press like button and also subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye.